which was an outfit lookbook. I got a lot of positive feedback on it, which was sweet. So as promised, I'm back doing a Kentucky like review slash my experience video. Because before I went, like I said, I watched a lot of Kentucky review videos. And it was so helpful to me, so I'm hoping um, the stuff that they missed out on those videos I can add in. And also the people that kept messaging me asking about it, they can watch this and find out more. And yeah, look at this. I'm in my new room. So yeah, I moved up to Auckland and I'm super happy about it. Let's get into the video. In front of me I have a whole bag full of information that I got given either from Kentucky or from my travel agent. Um, so basically this book I picked up from the travel agent. Um, this was before I even booked my Kentucky. I just went in one day and um, it's the Europe, that's not going to focus, but it's the Europe summer um, Kentuckys. And obviously I did mine in winter, but it was still in this book, so it's fine. So mine was called The Western Quest, and this one went to, so it started off in London, then it went to France, or Paris, and then it went to little places, like the three main places were Barcelona, Paris, and San Sebastian. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. My memory's so bad. Um, and I really liked mine. I should have probably established that from the start. But mine was nine days, three countries, and it says here it was $1,495. But on this little piece of paper that all my information is on, it says I paid $1,279. So that, um, just to clarify now, when you book your Kentucky, you're paying for your accommodation with Kentucky, which is usually like a um, three to a room situation, your breakfast and like the bus, so like the travel. You're not paying for flights, you're not paying for um, meals other than breakfast. Some are included, it depends, like um, you can also book extra, what are they called? They're called like um, add-ons or something, which um, my add-ons was like a cabaret dinner and a um, a show, I think. Far out, hold up, let me just look back. So my add-ons were a cabaret dinner and then we went to like a, um, it was called like Marilyn Rouge, Maril yeah Marilyn Rouge. And it was like a show, which was super cool, but all of us were so tired that day, so like, me and the person next to me, like, had to eat ice that was in the champagne bucket to like, stay awake, which was so bad. And the other one was in Spain, it was like, um, we ate dinner and they were like, doing some Spanish dancing, which was really cool, but, yeah. Basically, um, when you go into a travel agent, or if you decide to do it online, wouldn't recommend but I do know people that did it and it worked out for them so it's up to you and can we just clarify that I literally booked my Kentucky less than a month before I left like that is not normal usually people that do their Kentuckys have booked like oh, I'd say half a year or something before they go because they want to save up money obviously but I just like I worked all summer and I was like okay I need to get I need to go travel before I start work again, so that's what I did, and I do not regret it at all. That's explaining what the Kentucky covers, which was a question I got asked a lot, so um, remember when you're booking it that you still need to cover spending money. I would allow about $100 a day. That's like maximum, I would say, like unless you're a shopaholic like me, um, but that doesn't include the add-ons, because the add-ons could be like ranging from 20 euros to about 100 euros and also um, when I did book my Kentucky they just gave me this um, book which like because I had about five days in London by myself um, before I started my Kentucky so this is just like the book they gave me for sightseeing and it, there's some good deals in here I tell you and also you get your little um, oh. 
didn't realise these were in here. Oh. So basically, um, the night before you're in Kentucky, you have a meeting um, in the Kentucky Lounge, um, which is based in London. And down there's this really cool free photo booth. So that's one of those photos there. I didn't even know that was there. That's so cute. I'm going to put that away. These are so handy. Like I kept like all my flights, all of my hotel details and all of that in this get one. And then this is what Kentucky gives you. So you'll get given one of these. Do not lose it. I'm pretty sure if you lose it, it's fine. But just try not to lose it. It's a hassle. Um, it's just all the vouchers that you'll need basically for your whole trip like accommodation and all of that you just give it to them I don't think I gave apart from the first few nights I didn't give these vouchers at all I did this by myself by the way I didn't go with a friend I didn't know anyone before I went which was super crazy but I am so glad I did it like it's super organized and super well um, planned Basically, if you are wanting to travel by yourself, but like are really not good at it, like me, like, I mean, yes, I could book my own hotels, my own flights and everything, but I just felt so much more relaxed and like less anxious knowing that it was all sorted and I had a number to call if anything went wrong. I just had to show up to the airport on time shop to the Kentucky on time, go to the right place, but all of that information is there. So if you want to travel by yourself but you're not confident yet at it, then definitely go with Kentucky. Now I'm just going to go into a few questions I was asked. I also actually made a blog post on my Kentucky, so I'll link that down below. Um, so basically, one of the questions I was asked is what to pack. Um, it really depends on the Kentucky, like I heard there's some camping Kentuckys and obviously that would be completely different, but the first thing that I forgot to pack and had to buy it was a towel, like apparently it said it on the packing list, never saw it at all, um, so yeah I had to like rent a towel at every hotel, well every like place we stayed at. Pack a lot of underwear because um, some places you'll stay at do not do washing and it was also winter for us so like it took longer to dry stuff so just make sure you have a lot of underwear and you'll feel more <laughs> you'll feel better um also like i did a winter kentucky so obviously warm clothes like i had a friend who told me shout out to you izzy that um she just got back from italy and she was like oh no it's not that cold like you won't need half of that stuff i got there and then on the news it was like coldest week in London um, this whole winter and so it was like negative three degrees or something and I'm from Hamilton so I'm not used to that at all because the socks I bring were just like ankle socks so I had to go and buy like fluffy socks and beanies and scarves and all of that and so I spent probably like I would say 60 euros just on warmth so Try, if you have it at home, take it with you, but obviously you're going into the summer Kentuckys now because it's summer, well it's coming into summer over there, so less is better because you're going to buy so much over there, like so much over there. Um, another question I got asked is what didn't I like or what wasn't explained? I didn't like how short it was, <laughs> like I, I don't know, that's how much I loved it, I just kept, oh, okay, so. What wasn't explained to me was that my Western Quest was a part of a bigger tour or a bigger group. So my Kentucky was a part of two other Kentucky groups, and which was cool for me because I got to meet heaps of other people, but it meant when my Kentucky finished, they all, like all of my friends got to carry on like to like Rome and Italy and all of that jazz like and I had to stay behind with my friend Erica in Barcelona which like I'm not complaining about but oh fear of missing out much honestly I don't know yeah I wish that was explained to me because I either would have booked the longer one or I would have chose a different one because oh honestly I don't know how else to explain that feeling um but 
other than that, I can't complain about my Kentucky. Like, basically, like, I don't know what the word is. Like, it's not a five-star hotel. Like, you're going on a Kentucky. You're paying, like, really cheap for what it is. You're on a bus for, like, five hours at a time. I was on a bus for, like, I'm pretty sure, oh, I don't even know, like, 11 hours um, the first day. Like, it goes really quickly. Like, you'd be surprised. Like, I hate busing and I hate, like, stuck in a car for that long. But you stop every, like, two and a half hours and, like, we fill it with games and um, get to know each other things and, like, um, speed dating and all of that. So it's actually not that bad. And the other days you're hangover and you're hungover and you're sleeping anyway. So, like... Honestly, it goes so quickly. The rooms, like, don't expect much from them. Like, some are so good. Like, so good. And there's um, a common room downstairs with, like, heaps of stuff to do. But other rooms... <laughs> oh. Okay, our room in Paris, that was probably really shitty. But then San Sebastian was, like, ridiculously good. So, just expect the worst and you could get the best but you could also be stuck with the worst but you're on a Kentucky and you're having you're traveling so like don't complain <laughs> just like a tip would be do everything like do not one night if you're feeling like a little bit tired from going out the night before go out have fun because honestly when you're on that plane ride coming home you're gonna regret that you did not go out and have fun in Barcelona or Paris or whatever like honestly I went out every night well not every night but like majority of my nights and a lot of people didn't and I don't know I feel like one of my friends said they regretted it but others were like oh my god like they they were sick to be fair but just don't regret anything do everything and have fun like <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know how to put this. Like, yes, drink and party, but just remember you are stuck on a bus the next day for like five or six hours. So if you're not good at being hungover, I don't think anyone's gonna be hungover, but if you like vomit heaps, try and like keep that in the back of your mind when you're out because honestly the next day you're gonna hate your life like we had one guy that because these little plastic bags that you have to vomit in and no one else likes hearing vomit on that bus and oh just try not to please try not to vomit there are a lot of pickpocketers and a lot of um bad people in the club I don't know how else to put it like they'll sneak things into your drinks and they'll um like try and take your stuff so just be really cautious because New Zealanders are not used to it at all like you don't really get that over here like you don't get pickpocketers but over there it's so common like Paris is full of them and so is Spain um so just be careful um, because you don't want your stuff getting taken on your first day if you can take like that would suck I changed the lighting a bit, but I'm just gonna do a quick outro. I loved my Kentucky I totally 100% Recommend that you have to do something like this when you're young and if it's going by yourself or with a good mate I definitely recommend doing it. I met so many amazing people on the trip. I still talk to quite a few of them and uh, obviously more like less occasionally but oh my goodness like oh it was the coolest trip and I want everyone to do one because they don't understand until they actually come back from one how cool it was and how like I don't know like yes you're saving maybe for a phone or something but you can't put a price on travel well you can but like the experience you get from it and the things you learn like I learned so much about myself and like everything, like just do one and you'll meet the coolest people. And yeah, um, thanks for watching.